Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. On this episode, we're going to keep it quick and to the point and we're going to talk about the two main storage areas in the Model Y. The first one is the frunk. No, I did not swear. The frunk is actually storage in the front of the car. Keep in mind for those of you who are new to EV and Tesla, there's no engine in this car, meaning there's more ample space for storage. The next piece is the trunk. So we're going to take a look at it, measure it and get an idea of how much stuff we could actually fit in there. All right, everyone, so let's dive into this Frunking app and look at the controls. So I'm gonna use Frunk as a swear word here because I think it's actually pretty funny and I'm feeling hella immature right now. So as you could see the um, image of the car, under the image of the car are three icons. Um, the first one is the fan icon, which is basically start and stop your climate. So you could set the heat or the AC here in the summertime. The next one is basically uh, opening up your frunk. Okay, again, the front trunk. And then lastly uh, is the lock and unlock all doors. So if I was to click on this frunk icon here, it'll show you, it'll ask you if you wanna open your um, frunk remotely and you say yes or no. In this case, I'm gonna just say no. As you can see, my frunk is already open as mentioned. But um, the next one is controls. So you'll see phone key, climate and controls. I'm gonna click on controls. And this is gonna open up a whole frunking menu of stuff, okay? From venting to locking your doors to flashing, honking, and starting the car, etc. So we're gonna focus on the ones at the bottom, which is basically front and trunk. So again, I'm gonna click on front here and it's gonna say, are you sure this action will remotely open your front trunk? Absolutely, I'm frunking sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, frunking yes. And that's gonna open up. Again, for the sake of this presentation, it was already open, but you'll hear a popping sound if you're close to the car and the front the frunk will open up a little bit, okay? It's not gonna go all the way up like the image shows, uh, but it will just pop open a little bit. And the next thing is the trunk. So if I click on trunk, you'll see from the image that it will automatically open as well. So right now my trunk is open. Okay. If I was to close it, I'm gonna go ahead and click on trunk again. And again, I'll get that visual confirmation of the image with a closed trunk, all automatic. Now the frunking frunk, unfortunately, has to be manually frunking closed. So now that we saw the mobile app controls, let's take a look at how we control this on the screen inside the car, all right? Pretty straightforward. So as you can see, I have my camera setting open here as well, so you can see the back trunk open. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the frunk first, right? And I can click either on this little open sign, you could click on the actual hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this open hood, and you'll notice that um, the hood actually just popped up, okay? Now again, it doesn't open like the way the picture shows. You'll have to actually lift it up with your hand. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. There are aftermarket pieces that could uh, enable you to um, open it all the way. And I think from what I've seen, it's pretty easy to install, but uh, you know, I, I don't really have plans on doing that. Maybe, maybe down the line or so. And uh, the other part is opening the trunk. So um, I'm gonna just click on the back trunk there anywhere around the image and you'll see from the camera that the trunk is opening. Now the trunk is fully automatic, meaning opening and closing is available through the app controls as well as through this um, the screen, as well as the hardware button built right into the trunk. And then here, if I do this, you know, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna keep trying to open it. So you'll have to actually go outside and um, close it with both hands and I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so when closing the front, you wanna do it the way that they suggest, okay? Again, keep in mind that the material is aluminum, so it could dent uh, quite easily and get damaged if you do put too much pressure on it, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna bring it down and leave it just around there until it kinda of sits on its own. And then you wanna put both your hands around the, the Tesla logo and simply push down. Now, if you only have one hand available, let's say you're holding a bag or whatever it is, what you want to do is you want to put your palm straight here under the Tesla, um, Tesla logo and just simply give it a click, click down. So I have my tape measure with me and I will put the measurements on the actual video. But first, I kind of simulated a typical trip that we would take with the kids, maybe to a park, maybe even an overnight stay, okay? This bag here is what Mish really likes to take and pack her stuff in. So I put that in here. And this is a smaller kind of carry-on size luggage, but fits in there without any issues, right? And then we have the stuff that the kids would potentially play with from soccer balls, uh, badminton rackets, skateboard, 
picnic blanket, frisbee, emergency light just in case we run out of battery, and windshield washer, right? So that's a lot of stuff that I just fit in the front and uh, this was basically stuff that was just laying around my garage, right? So let's give you a better idea of exactly how big this space is. In terms of height, we're looking at around 16 and a half inches. And on this end, closer to the front, around 12 inches. In terms of the length, at its widest part, we're looking at 34 inches. And at its shortest part, we're looking at 28 inches. So that's still a nice amount of space to put whatever you need. And I think even things like, you know, windshield washer, even a cooler in the summertime, because this tends to be cool in here. So even a cooler um, in here with your favorite drinks in the summertime would be a really good idea, I think. So, all right guys, so now let's take a look at the trunk. So there's actually quite a lot of space here and there's some hidden storage space here as well. Keep in mind that we're working with the five seat configuration here. And again, this Model Y comes in a seven seat spec as well, but we went with the five seat option. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and show you how much we could fit here. So this is um, just about 43 inches. And I'll put this on the screen as well. And lengthwise, we're looking at around 37 inches. And from a height clearance perspective, we're looking at just around 27 inches. Okay, so there's quite a bit of space here to put your everyday items. Again, I, I might've mentioned this in another video, but for us, we just bought e-scooters and we're planning on taking those e-scooters around Montreal and you know, taking it in our Tesla, parking it, and really uh, going on bike, bike paths and stuff like that with our e-scooters. And um, we need the trunk space to do that. So this is gonna be perfect. Now I'm gonna collapse the seats and show you how much space we have. To collapse the seats, very simple. You press one of these buttons here and the seat will just fall. Now look at all that space that we have. Actually, just the other day, Nish was helping her sister move a cabinet and we used the Tesla because the Tesla actually had more clearance than the Range Rover Velar when the seats were down by about 10 inches, okay? So um, this is probably as max as we could go in that driving position. And we're looking at around 78 inches of length, okay? So think about wood from your hardware store, cabinets, chairs, furniture, whatever, you could fit a lot in here. Now let's talk about some of the hidden storage spaces. This one here is pretty cool. You could fit a cooler there. You could fit a bunch of stuff like emergency items. You could even put your Tesla charger in there uh, so it's out of the way. And um, a lot of options, right? You also have another space. As you can see, I put this Tesla charger here for now. Uh, again, I don't really use that charger, but um, enough little space here to put whatever you want, even like a pair of shoes or something if you're in, into sports or hiking or whatnot. All that stuff could be good there and then just hidden away out of your everyday trunk. So ample space in the Model Y guys. So regardless of if it is, you're thinking if you'll have uh, space for strollers and you have young kids at home, if you're more of the adventurous type and you do hiking trips and things like that, the Model Y should fit all those needs.